Well, developing tonight, we're learning more about multiple attacks on SEPTA, and they all seem to be targeting young girls. And Kelly joins us now. And these attacks have happened over the last two weeks. It is, we know of at least two attacks, and police say there could be a third attack that they're looking into as well, all connected to the same man. Now, I did speak with the father of a 13-year-old victim over the phone. Police say she was punched five times by this man in a completely unprovoked attack. Her father tells me she is doing better, fortunately, but was so traumatized, he had to start driving her to school. I'll stay where it is crowded. Tanya Armour says SEPTA is her only mode of transportation, but not one she's always completely comfortable with. I have to depend on SEPTA. So, you know, I would feel more safer if it was more police presence. Something she feels more strongly about when she learned of two recent attacks on teenage girls at two different subway stations. Police say on Friday, September 9th, around 7 a.m., a 27-year-old man attacked a 17-year-old girl as she was walking at the Walnut Locust Station. He strangled her down to the ground and held his hands around her neck, let her go, and left in an elevator. Police believe on Tuesday, September 13th, that same man attacked a 13-year-old girl just after 7.30 a.m. at the City Hall stop as he got off a Broad Street Line train. Police say he punched the girl five times in the face and was pulled off by passengers. Law enforcement sources tell Fox 29 these are pictures of the attacker. So that's very scary because they're minors and even if like they're not going to school, like just me and you and anybody that's an adult, like nobody wants to go do that. It's bad. Police confirmed both of the victims are young Asian girls, but at this point cannot say if they were targeted because of their race. Last fall, an attack on Asian students on a SEPTA train led to a nationwide outcry. Hundreds of people rallied in Center City after a viral video showed a group of Asian students from Central High School being attacked on a SEPTA train. I think that it should never get to the level where a person gets hurt, a normal common citizen gets hurt before something is done. Now, this is an active investigation. So far, no arrest or charges. But in a statement today, SEPTA did tell me they launched investigations into the incidents immediately after they were reported. And by sharing images from their surveillance video system among law enforcement, they say they were able to make significant progress in this investigation in a short amount of time. Sheba? All right, Kelly Rule, thank you.